Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am here at school on the holiday break, and we are gonna do a quick test of how the 3D pen works. And right now you can see that I am heating it up. That's what these little lights mean. In a moment, it'll start pulling filament through, and we'll test that. We are also doing a test of the lavalier microphone that you can get on Amazon for about $10, and just seeing how that changes the audio quality when we record with the phone. So, let's see what we get. So, uh, with the pen, it is heating up. It's getting ready for high speed. That's why it's blinking. I'm gonna let it sit for a second. I am gonna use a roll of filament today, which is much more economical than the other filament. I'm gonna remind you that you need to clip it straight when you use one of these 3D pens I have found. This 3D pen has got a button on the side, which is load, and then it's got unload. Unload takes a double click, and that's nice so you don't accidentally unload while you're working. This load also is the pause button. It has got temperatures, or it's got a filament of PLA and ABS, and then it's also got a high speed and a low speed. I'm gonna work in high speed, and right now I'm gonna load the filament by tapping the load button. Simply push the filament in. This filament is some cheap filament I got off eBay once upon a time. Uh, I have trouble with it on several of my printers, but I'm finding that it prints really well with this pen. I'm going to get a little filament coming out, and then I'm going to pause it. I'm going to let that cool just a hair and then clean off the tip. i got a set of pliers with me so it can help keep that tip nice and clean. So designing with a 3D pen like this is super easy. Um, I'm going to make a cute little snowflake ornament. So right now I'm just doing a circle that is the top of my ornament. At any time you can pause. I'm gonna pull that away because it accidentally came up. If you have any string in, it's easy, easy to pull that away after a moment. And then I'm gonna make my snowflake design down below. So there's my tap and I'm gonna go from the center out. And I'm just making a nice snowflake arm. Trying to make it as smooth as I can. And when I get to the end, I'm going to pause, trying to reach over so that it doesn't obstruct your view so much. Now making a little snowflake piece off it and come across. Pause again. And then I'm going to do that same arm down below. And I don't want to spend all day making a design for you, but I do want you to see just how cool it can be and how easy it can be to make these designs and how you can build the little parts and attach them to each other later. I'm going to just move these all aside, make sure that string is out of my way. <laughs> Using transparent filament is kind of funny because you can uh, barely see it, but uh, when you do accidentally connect those pieces in place, it is annoying. You can see I tapped low speed just so we can see what that was like. I'm going to switch it on the fly to high speed. So I've got three little pieces of snowflake and a hook. I'm going to actually connect these together and do my next one. The nice thing about this filament is once it cools, it actually is a little bit sturdy. And you could hang it off a tree. Just building it up a little bit of strength here in the middle. Build one coming up to the top. Not the fastest process in the world. Don't like how that clipped together. But, you know, if you're just looking for something to entertain your children, it is a fun thing that they can do. Uh, when you buy the filament off eBay like I did with the big, uh, big spool, it's uh, not real expensive, and it is oddly satisfying as you build your own 3D creations. 
Okay, I'm gonna connect up to the hook up here and then we'll show you how the snowflake turned out. And also, once again, remember we are testing the lavalier microphone. This is plugged into the headphone jack of my phone. And uh, it's got noise cap it's got noise canceling capabilities. And compared to the normal phone, it'll be interesting to test just how good it sounds. And there you have my interesting little snowflake made with filament off a reel using the P65 pen. Whenever you finish with the P65 pen, double click to unload. That way it's clear for the next time you use it. A heads up about the P65 pen. It does not come with the power adapter. It comes with the cord, but you have to have your own power brick off the wall. Uh, when you're done with it and have removed the filament, you can unplug it. It is already cool. A lot of fun, about 20 bucks. Hey there, friends. If you enjoyed this quick tutorial on the P65, hammer that like button. If you haven't hit subscribe, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. Hit the notifications bell if you want to know when the next movie from HL Mike Tech appears. And if you have a question or a comment, add it down below. The link for this pen and the lavalier microphone will be in the description. There is also going to be a coupon for the 3D pen. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.